we're top of the league, Jao Pedro is banging them in for fun, and there's just one game to go before the World Cup break, and that game just so happens to be the East Lancashire Derby with Blackburn Rovers. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this FM23 series with Burnley bringing the Brazilian to spirit to the club to get back in the Prem and hopefully win the Premier League. You know, I've got this lovely, it's, it's cold, so I've got this nice green and yellow, which is, is Brazilian coloured cardigan, uh, which I just had. So what a lovely coincidence. And yeah, against Blackburn today, how things have been going? Where were we here last time? Um, we lost to Cardiff and we beat Stoke. So yeah, we drew Coventry. Which was, uh, they were bottom, so that took some work. Uh, but then, really lovely form. 4 0 win against Wigan. 4 2 0 against Swansea. Xiao Pedro's just been banging them in. Let's count them. Uh, so, none there. 1 against Wigan. 2 against Swansea. He's up to 3. 4 3 win against Birmingham. Xiao Pedro makes it, gets to 5 with 2 there. A 5 1 win against Sunderland. Xiao Pedro gets another 2, so he's got 7. Against Reading, another 2, so he's on 9. And against Rotherham, uh, he just got another 2. So, Jao Pedro's having fun. Uh, yeah, and then we lost 2-0 to Sheffield United. That was annoying. <laughs> Didn't go to plan there, sadly, but hey-ho. Find ourselves top level, though, with Norwich. Have to win this game to guarantee going into the international break top of the league. Jao Pedro and Timu Puki are both top scorers with 20. Marquinhos got 14 as well. So, thankfully, we've got those Brazilian strikers that are just bagging them for fun and keeping us well and truly up there, you know, giving us a real good advantage in this title fight. Get it team wise for this game is Blackburn. God, second place Norwich versus fourth place Middlesbrough, and first place Burnley versus fifth place Blackburn. Some big games in the championship today, isn't there? This is how we're looking for the final game before the international break. Murek in goal, Vatinho, Hod, Bellis, Bayer, Mardson, Callum Brown, El Jose, and Gomez, Rodrigo, Gael Pedro, and Marquinhos. Pretty standard team at this point. Um, squad wise, only thing of note is that uh, Darko Cholinov is now Darko Cholinov um, because he had a Macedonia winger. He's just got that bit about him, hasn't he? Maybe it's the 16th player. He's just got that bit about him. He's been made an honorary Brazilian. So, yeah, Darko Cholinov has been playing very well. <laughs> and you might see him today. Maybe. Blackburn. Derby. Let's win, please. Stay top of the league. Fingers crossed. Without further ado, let's just jump into this game. I forgot to mention it in the intro earlier. This was this was originally going to be us against uh, the final two games for the break, Sheffield United and Blackburn. What happened was I, I just was in kind of autopilot going through games. <laughs> we getting ready to record last night. And I, I did the Sheffield game. And I was sad about the loss. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wasn't I meant to record this? Uh, I'm glad I didn't. In the end, you didn't need to see that. <laughs> but just the derby here with Blackburn. A bit of encouragement. We're playing well. We're on top. You know... If there's if it's this boring when we get to half time because it's the only game of the episode, it's this boring right now. I'll go to extended, give us something to look at, something to talk about. It's the only game of the episode. Big derby with Blackburn. They've got their own promotion hopes. I looked at Ben Brereson Diaz in the summer. Uh, I thought about it. Isn't Brazilian, but he's got that South American spirit in his name at the very least. <laughs> uh, he didn't want to come because he's a Blackburn boy. Fair enough. Martin's on the ball. Goes to Bayer. There's the Vitinho. Team is playing well. The team's playing some really good football at the minute. Jostle over the top. Team cohesion-wise, got to work on it still. Uh, but my just my main thought is, if we're playing like this when team cohesion's low, we get it up, and that's going to be the sexiest football you've ever seen. I imagine. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, team's been playing really well. Just a reminder, if you forgot, Alexander Pato is signing in January. Uh... <laughs> Which is crazy. Alexander Pato is going to play for Burnley in the Championship. Very much looking forward to having him here. Uh, Scott Twine's back from injury as well. Burnley signed him in the summer. IRL. Uh, and he, he's been injured, but he's going to be back. So, integrate him into the team a little bit. He's, 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 a, he's a creative player. He's a good creative player. Jordan Bay is going to go wide here to Vitinho. Maybe make something. Vitinho has been playing well. He's been playing well. Good ball to Marquinhos. What a ball. What a run. Marquinhos is really good at those runs in behind. You play a long ball, he'll get there. He, he's, he's one of the reasons he gets offside a lot. Uh, but when you're making those runs on the last, you know, the last line, getting just past the defender, 
you're going to get offside and that's understandable, that's fair enough. When he gets it onside, he times it perfectly, he's free and he's slotting it home, which is great. Brown has got a free kick here. It's going to go in the box over everyone, headed clear, but it's Cullen's going to get there. Go wide to Brownhill. Just Brown is going to get tackled by Britain. Oh, win the ball back. Come on, lads. Brazil's got to beat Britain. Morton. Brownhill, good tackle. Jao Pedro. Ian Martins on the ball down the left-hand side. He's charged with it. Cross into the box. Oh, headed clear. Oh, he's kept in. Rodrigo Gomez. Jao Pedro bouncing around. De Costa clears it in the end. God, that could have gone anywhere. Sadly, it didn't go into the back of the net, though. Uh, we're well on top still. 1.14 XG, 56 possession. A bit of encouragement for the lads. Because we're playing really well here. It's a problem we have quite a lot. We play really well. We play good football. We're on top. We have a lot of chances. But we don't find the back of the net. And it's frustrating when that happens. And it's something we got to work on. Maybe when Team Cohesion goes up a bit, it'll, it'll get better as uh, well. But still for now, Blackburn are on the ball. Kaminsky is going to go to a uh, high -um. Hi, um, uh, Kaminsky <laughs> buns it forward. Martin, really good tackle, mate. Rodrigo Gomez, the youngster, goes to Josu Cullen over the top to Gio Pedro. Can he get there? He can't. Pickering clears, but Brownell gets there. Rodrigo Gomez is going to have a go. You could tell. You could tell that man was going to have a go over the bar, sadly. I'm looking at things. I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to up the tempo a little bit, just play a bit faster. You know, Blackburn are kind of used at the minute to us playing slow. So if we just up the tempo, we up the energy. Hopefully, they won't be able to keep up. Catching by surprise, maybe. I say, as Blackburn have a chance, maybe. Half Bellis heads clear, get there. We don't. Morton to Britain. Shot blocked. Out for a corner. Oh, God. Blackburn Rovers have a corner. <laughs> Who's going to take it? Callum Morton. He's going to play this into the box at some point head of clear not too clear though by a heads that one clear though pickering's on it though blackburn just keeping up the pressure travis the costa thank god thank god we're gonna go into halftime goalless here by the look of it or not free kick brownhill into the box oh headed clear get there rodrigo gomez does get there rodrigo gomez tackled dud not a good touch there gomez he just let it he let it go to mar Pickering's on the ball for Blackburn. They've crossed the halfway line. Oh, yeah. Send them back to their own half. Don't let them get forward. Wharton gets forward into our half. Pickering to Wharton. Wharton's going to go forward with the ball to Travis. Free ball. Pickering in behind. Cuts it onto his right. Smashes it over the bar, thankfully. This is going to be goalless at half time. Which is a bit frustrating. Which is a bit frustrating here. You know, we played really well, we've had a lot of chances, but it doesn't matter if we can't score. It doesn't matter if we can't score. I'm looking at the team. Ian Martson uh, has got a bit of a knock. So we're going to bring him off. Uh, and we're going to do to switch for Tino, And we're going to put on ground Connor Roberts. Connor Roberts has done really well when he's had to come off the bench this season. So bring him on. Only change we'll make so far. Hopefully, kick on in the second half. Get a nice early good start. Grab a goal quickly, I hope. Wharton, free kick. Forward. What is that? No, no, no. I'm not even joking. Who just let that man run? Who just let Greenwood run? What is that? Wharton goes forward. Harwood Bellis just stops. I assume it's a miscommunication between him and Murek. But I don't, I don't care, quite honestly. What is that? Oh my god. Blackburn lead. Blackburn lead. He looks like he enjoyed it. I most certainly didn't. What the hell. 50th minute. Lads, come on. For the sake of it. Christ. Not good enough. Not good enough. Get to the hour mark. I'm thinking about subs. Thinking about changes. Because what's hip-hop happening right now is just not hip-hop happening. Marquinhos is going to come off for Dara Costello. Uh, and Josu is going to make way for Scott Twine. Tempted to bring on Darko Chilinov. Try and change things a little bit. Rodrigo Gomez, I'll give him a little bit longer. 
But uh, yeah, he's, he's got to do something. Maybe get to like the 70th minute and then Darko can come on if um, Rodrigo hasn't done anything yet. Bit of encouragement, maybe. Just come on. It's not even knocking us off top of the league here. It's the fact that it's Blackburn, lads. These fans will kill me. Come on, a bit more direct, a bit more high tempo, a bit more energy about it, lads. Like, come on. Just come on out there. You know, keep an eye on the time. And it's just... Just not happening, right? Right, we're in change, country. We're in change. Twine, play a bit more attacking. Rodrigo, go up top. Christ. Joel Pedro, off the pitch. Darko, on the pitch. Final change. Josh Cullen's going to come off. Marco Sam Bastian is going to come on. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All change. Want a goal. Need a goal. And time's dwindling away here. We're going to go very attacking. We're just going to go for it here. I'm not happy. I don't know what's happened to this squad the last two games. We were just on this really good run of form in October. November's hit. 2-0 against Sheffield United. Now we've lost the derby to Blackburn. We're off the top of the league. I'm not happy. Unless Scott Twine... Free kick over the bar. Imagine. Oh, I'm frustrated. We're going to go into the World Cup break. After playing really well. Second. Off the back of two defeats. And I'm not happy. I'm glad I've got a nice break with this team now. Work on our squad building. Get that team cohesion up. Because it needs to. It needs to. I don't know why this team has a problem with each other. Every other metric is going really well, but if I go to Dynamics, Team Keesian's average is leaning badwards, sadly. You know? It's frustrating. Club atmosphere is going down. Stuff to work on. Stuff to work on. We've got, a, we've got a World Cup break to do it. we got a World Cup break to do it. Uh, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. That's annoying. Five points clear at least. We'll look at, we'll look at a positive. Five points clear a second. Or third, shall I say. Uh, but that is going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Definitely not the, you know, game going into the World Cup break I was hoping for. But, you know, a little break for the World Cup. Work on Team Cohesion, like I said. Get the team playing well. Get them more familiar with the tactics, even more so. And hopefully come back even stronger. Get back on top of the league. Win the league in the Prem. That's the game plan. And Pato will be here next time. We'll be back end of January, February time. In-game. Uh, that is next Sunday. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe for more. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.